uh, just fitted out a Fleischmann Regional Express double decker coaches with LED lighting, bridge rectifiers, and uh, capacitors. At long last, something I've been wanting to do for that set for a long time. So to do the install on this particular Fleischmann coach, uh, I ripped out the old lighting units, the conventional bulb lighting units for the upper deck, lower deck. Uh, cut off some LED lighting strips, which you get on a roll like this for about six quid, about 500 lights, well worth the money. Warm, warm white, cut them off in series of three at a time, and you solder up the ends, negative and positive. So I cut two strips of that off, placed it on the lower deck, placed a, a set on the, the upper deck roof, wired them up, negative and positive. Uh, next stage was, so you wire up negative and positive wiring onto both strips, lighting strips on the upper and lower deck. I added a fuse, bridge rectifier and a capacitor. The capacitor I used was 200 UF 25 volt like that bridge rectifier that's just uh, swaps around the um, positive and negative and just enables the coach to work in both directions without any problems and the fuse which drops the voltage from 16 volts to 12 or 12 volts or below so you don't have the um, the LEDs lighting up too bright in the coaches if you put 16 volts through these it'll be very bright so how I done this was the old lighting strips which take the power feed from the chassis below negative and positive sides of the um, weights which act as conductive strips. I left these strips in and they take the power feed up to the old lighting strips. So I left them on. Or other other than that you've got to solder wires to the bottom of the chassis to bring the power up to where I want it. So you've got a negative and then you put a negative wire to the negative side of the bridge rectifier. And then you, the, the negative side on the other side of the bridge rectifier goes to the negative side of the capacitor. And then you connect the negative wiring for your lighting strips to that. And then on the positive side, you bridge it with a fuse to so drop down the fuse the voltage rating coming into the, the bridge rectifier on the positive input it's only faintly marked up on the bridge rectifiers you've got to look closely at that if you get that the wrong way around it doesn't light up it won't light up and work correctly so you've got your positive fuse to drop down a voltage into the positive side of the bridge rectifier, then that goes onto the positive side of the capacitor. And then you connect your positive wiring to that side of the bridge rectifier, if that makes any sense. It's quite easy really. Um, that's how it looks. I mean, I'm no, I'm not brilliant at soldering. I'm pretty rubbish, but I've got it up and running, and it all works fine. So, 
So the, the capacitor stores the power if you're going over a dirty track or breaks in power. Bridge rectifier that swaps the, uh, the negative and positive around. So if you turn the coach other way around, the lighting's going to work correctly because this rectifies a problem. Hence the name bridge rectifier. So I'm no electronics expert, so that's just a basic explanation of how I've done these coaches. Thank you.